Hey everyone, welcome back to Midday Maryland. You know, it is a beautiful fall day out here now, but we know what's coming in terms of colder weather. And that means it's time to think about that home heating system. With me now, Sean Malney with SM Mechanical. Sean, thanks for joining us today. No problem. A couple key areas homeowners need to think about. What would you say right out of the gates? Uh, right off the top, I'd say to turn the system on before you actually need it. Make sure everything's working properly. Don't wait for it to be 20 degrees out. At that point, everyone's calling companies, and uh, we're extremely busy at that point. And then at that point, you gotta you got to wait in line. I mean, even if you're just walking in over to your thermostat, test the heat now before it gets too cold. Something as simple as just running it, turning it on, making sure that it's going to fire off and be dependable. Uh, you don't want it to be the middle of the night, 20 degrees out, because you know, then you're in trouble. Don't wait for the first Arctic blast. Okay, so we've done that initial system test, and now we kind of think about a second area that we need to think about, and, and that comes down to what? Just being more familiar with the home system. Absolutely. Being familiar with what kind of system you have. There's multiple kinds. You could have a heat pump. You could have gas furnace, high efficiency, low efficiency, oil fired. Uh, a lot of people aren't even sure what kind of system they have, and even if they do, they're not sure of the components and how they operate. So something as simple as as knowing how things work and knowing what to check if something simple doesn't come on uh, something as simple as a switch being off at the top of the at the top of the steps or something like a uh, snow being built up around the vent that can cause major issues at that point you're calling somebody to come out and then you're waiting a long time to pay somebody to do something very simple that you could avoid the cost on yourself here's an exhaust piping coming off of a 90 plus gas furnace Sometimes you have a case where maybe a bird will build a nest in here, some kind of blockage like that, or some ice, or in the case of a couple years ago, three feet of snow, which will block that. So sometimes you want to come out here, if you're having an issue with your furnace, just come out here and just make sure it's clear of any debris or any bird's nest, anything like that. That could save you on a service call. So then that brings us to kind of a third area, and this is maybe something small on your system that a lot of people don't think about uh, into the winter. No different than cars, you know, little minor things can turn into major things if you don't pay attention to them. Uh, I would strongly recommend checking your filters. Uh, people get caught up a lot of times nowadays with uh, filters that they think they can leave in there for longer or just people um, don't pay attention, don't even know they have filters. Uh, filters are the most important part of the system. It's really the only thing for the most part that a customer has to worry about. If you do not change filters, especially on newer systems that are high efficiency, airflow is key whether it's in heating or cooling. If you leave filters in there for way too long, something that cost you a few bucks can end up costing you several hundred, possibly thousands of dollars. Keep an eye on and keep checking that filter. All right, last but not least, there's one other key area as you look at your home for the heating season. What would that be? I'd have to say not having proper insulation, older doors and windows, uh, something as simple as, you know, checking your attic insulation, which is a huge thing. As we're getting ready to go into winter, this is what causes high heating bills. You're losing all the heat that you're paying all this money for to heat your home. It's going right through your attic ceiling and then right out the house and then your, your furnace is gonna to continue to run. Talk about the house that we're about to take a look at here and what's been done to it in terms of the, the all important heating this winter. Well, this house behind us is actually a house that belongs to one of my best customers, CR Properties of Maryland. Um, this is a brand new renovation of an older house, so a lot of the things that they've done, which they do in all of these, would be replacement of all the windows and doors. So brand new windows and doors, which are properly insulated, no leakage. Uh, second thing is you know, they finished off the second floor, but regardless of whether it's finished or not, I made sure they put a premium on the insulation, uh, you know, stuff that's drafty, and then um, you know, that's stuff that's going to cost you a little bit more money, but is very important to your monthly heating bill. All right, well, four top tips for homeowners as things get much cooler than they are right now as we stand here. Uh, Sean Malney with SM Mechanical, thanks so much for coming on Midday Maryland. Uh, we appreciate you being here, and we hope you put those home heating tips to use now before you really need them in just a couple of weeks or a couple of months. That's it for now. We'll see you back here on the other side of the break.